And is that quite what you were asking? Uh, is that quite what you were asking? Oh, good. Uh, next question. Uh, <laughs> Dionysic art in, in Greek times was where like a bunch of people would get together and they'd uh, they'd they'd erect a, a paper phallus 50 feet long and carry it around and chant to some god that they believed in, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and sort of, uh, how should I say, the creation of an event. It's eventful art. Mm -hmm. uh, Apollonian is when you just make a statue and it's there forever and it's set out very clearly. Okay. There's a Dionysic element to my art that, that does, I suppose a lot of people might be frightened to be me, but I'm quite happy to be. Yeah. All right. Just as some people were very terrified of rock and roll when it started, and then they got terrified of the Beatles, there are some people who get scared by okay. any new trend in music. Fair enough. I'll tell Why you one terror. Art? Good question. Okay. In this music, one terror is that if you play music like the way I do, okay, obviously already, if I put as much into a song as I possibly can on mm -hmm. your show, mm -hmm. automatically for five, ten minutes, it's very hard for me to, to speak articulately or to, to talk to you. You see, because okay. you're pumped because up I've, back there, because sure. I've because I've uh, quite quite given myself totally to, to that. It's, it's Dionysic, if you know the difference between Dionysic and Apollonian art. I'm not too good on that. Next question. Um, do you think this Dionysian spirit that, that keeps people on the quest for power is what has brought so much of the destructive tendencies into humanity and, and so much of the violence into the world? Um, do you believe there is that destructive tendency in human nature, or that it's just a matter of choice? We're bringing in the Dionysian idea from Nietzsche. The, the way Nietzsche uses Dionysian, it means ecstatic, as distinguished from Apollonian, which is rational. And if you read Nietzsche carefully, what he's basically trying to describe in those poetic metaphors are what we nowadays think of as linear uh, left brain thinking, which is the Apollonian, and right brain holistic thinking, which is the Dionysian. And uh, I think if you look at history as a whole, you find that both of them are subject to perversion, especially when they become ruling class ideologies. So you find some really nasty Apollonian type civilizations and some really nasty Dionysian type civilizations, and you find some very good civilizations of both of those types too. So I don't think you can draw a line and say the Dionysian is good and the Apollonian is bad or the Apollonian is good and the Dionysian is bad. Uh, these seem to be part of a dialectic, both of which are necessary for our evolution as I see it. Is that quite what you were asking? Oh, good. Uh, next question. Hey, hey.